Good afternoon, I'm Susan McCord. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cypher Sue. Today's topic is adding some mystery to your relationship enhances your connection. So what does that even mean? And how do you do this, especially if you've been together for a long time? How do you bring things back to add some excitement into the mix? Well, one of the first things to do here is to be a little more spontaneous. A lot of couples become very routine. Everything is the same. It's like Groundhog Day, the movie. It's one repetitious situation after another. And this causes boredom. This causes people to just look at their relationship and say, what the hell are we doing? How did we get here? Well, the problem is so many couples do get there. They become complacent in their relationship. They just trust that things are just going to be okay the way they are. Well, we all know how that works out because it's not always the case. A lot of people become very frustrated in their long-term relationships and they don't even know if they want to be there anymore or they exist and kind of live separate lives. This isn't okay and it's not the way that you should handle a relationship. Partnerships need to be nurtured, bottom line. And people say, well, that's easier said than done. And you're absolutely right. It can be easier said than done because it's a lot of work making a relationship exciting. You have to put energy in in a reciprocated manner to keep things going. You Maybe you take turns planning date nights, but they're secretive. You don't let each other know what's happening. Obviously, you want to make sure that your partner would like to do it, but just have some exciting, organized date nights that are maybe something out of the box, maybe something that you would never normally do. A lot of people get bored in their intimacy within their partnership as well. Similar days on the calendar. Maybe there's not enough days on the calendar. Maybe it's the same thing every time when you go into the bedroom. Change the location. It's just about putting in the effort to be a little spontaneous and your partner has to be on board with this. They have to be able to be spontaneous with you. You have to sit down and have the conversation about how to enhance your relationship. A little bit of mystery, a little bit of spontaneity is awesome and it works like a charm. Another great thing about adding a little mystery to your partnership, it doesn't have to be all the time. It can just be maybe once every three weeks or so. But you, you know within, as a couple, that there's going to be some fun things on the horizon because you are both excited to try and make this become a part of your relationship. You understand the importance of nurturing the love between you. And you can't do that by following a calendar every single day that's regimented and routine. This is why it's so important to sit down and communicate and say, look, I'm feeling like things are becoming a little flat with us because we're doing so many things that don't involve us as a couple. It becomes about the family, the house, our jobs, and there's no fun. There's no excitement. There's no energy being put into anything. And this is where couples get into trouble. This is why some relationships dissolve over five, 10 years, because people lose the joy in their life. Everything has become mundane and repetitive. And that is something that you have to alter if you want to have longevity in your partnership. If both people take turns being a little secretive and mysterious about planning something, a date night or whatever it is, it may be a mini holiday, it might be a weekend getaway. But if you always have a little bit of playful time, then you're going to always have a good connection with each other. You want to be able to laugh with your partner too. It's not always just about romance and, and keeping all that part alive. It's also about having fun together. And you can have some mysterious dates that are fun. Obviously, you don't want to take them on maybe fear factor situations but something that you know they would really enjoy that maybe they've never tried before. 
Maybe it's something they've talked about. I love it when my husband plans things that are just kind of out of the blue. I, I really enjoy it. But I mean, that's the kind of person I am. I get bored if I have to keep doing the same old thing every single day. It's just not who I am. I've never been that person. But you have to be with a partner who understands that too. Because if one person becomes really routine all the time and you're not, that also is a huge problem. So you both have to be on board with making this work. Being creative in your relationship keeps the fires burning because you don't get bored. How can you get bored when there's always something to look forward to? And you're both putting in reciprocated effort. Be mischievous. Bring out the kid that's inside of you. We all have that there. All of us have that, that little kid that just wants to come out once in a while and play. And if you remember that and you bring that into the mix, you're going to have a lot of fun together. And when you wake up in the morning, you look at each other, you go, wow, we've got an amazing relationship. We both enjoy living our lives to the fullest. And that's what keeps our connection. As I've said in a few other videos, couples who play together, stay together. You're learning new things as a couple. You're enjoying spending time together. You've got so much to talk about and communicate about. And you take turns making mysterious spontaneity fun within your partnership. The less predictable you are in a relationship, the more fun you have as a couple. Change up your appearance once in a while. Be secretive about it. Just come home one day, a new hairstyle, some new sexy clothes, maybe some lingerie. It's all sorts of things that you can do just to make your partner take notice. And that's the kind of stuff that makes a relationship really great because you're making an effort. People forget to do that as time goes by. And that's one of the reasons that a lot of relationships fail because no one's putting in the energy to keep their partner interested and attracted to them. When you're flirtatious and lighthearted with each other, it takes away the monotony. It just keeps everything really alive. And that's where you want to keep yourself. So please hear me out here in this video because it can really save your relationship. And there's nothing wrong with understanding, sitting down and saying to each other, we've got to rekindle this. This isn't working very well. And putting this in, implementing the spontaneity and the mystery back into your relationship, because that's how we all start out. We all start out being the best version of ourselves because we're trying to impress our partner. So don't stop doing that. Please always, always put each other as a priority. Thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please leave your comments below. What did you do in your relationship to keep it fun, mysterious and spon spontaneous? Leave some suggestions here for other people. Thank you so much. Take care, everyone. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so and click like. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.